Hi, this is Tom from SupplyHouse.com. In this video, we'll show you how to install the Takeo Leak Breaker. Used as a water heater leak protection device that protects against flood damage from the containment failure of a water heater, it consists of a control unit, a valve with an actuator, and a sensor. First, shut off the main water supply and open the fixture closest to the water heater to relieve water pressure. Install the valve either vertically or horizontally on the water heater supply line. The valve has 3 quarter inch NPT for connections. Press the tabs on the side of the control panel and pull apart to separate the front panel and the back panel. Using the hardware provided, mount the back of the control panel in a location close enough to the water heater so that both the actuator and sensor wiring can be connected to the control panel. Insert batteries if using them. Attach the front on the control panel to the back of the panel. If using electrical power, connect the power cord. Leak breaker can be powered by both. With the screws on the sensor quick connect facing toward the back of the controller, plug the sensor wiring into the control panel port marked sensor. Place the sensor on the floor at the base of the water heater, making sure it is located where water is likely to flow. If the sensor is installed in a pan or damp surface, be sure to insert the four feet provided into the four holes on the corners of the sensor. Put the screws on the actuator quick connect facing toward the back of the controller. Plug the actuator wiring into the control panel port marked valve. To test the unit, with the valve in open position, place the sensor in water. The valve should close, the LED should flash red, and the audible alarm should sound. To reset, completely dry off the sensor, and then press the open button. For more information, check out the resources at supplyhouse.com, or email us with any questions.